Hi, this is the video for Daf uh, Mem Tet, page 49 of Masechet Sukkah. Um, I wanted to just focus on a small piece that appears on the second side of the page. Um, it's a Brita attributed to Rav Anan, which is special to my heart, because as some of you may know, I have a son, my third child is named Anan. So it says there in Tana Debe uh, Rav Anan, the house of Anan taught, My dichtiv chamukei yirei what is written by the roundness of your thighs, what does that mean? Why were the words of Torah compared to a thigh? Just as the thigh is hidden by the pants, by the clothing we wear, so too the words of Torah should be hidden, done in a private setting. Um, and in the next uh, statement, there appears something that was said by Rabbi Elazar, where he goes through a lot of mitzvot that are usually fulfilled in a public setting, um, like doing justice, like loving kindness, performance of good deeds, um, bringing the, out the dead for burial and bringing in a bride into marriage, into the bridal canopy. And he comes up with a Kavah Homer. If these things, which are normally public, are meant to be done, beseter, um, privately, without a lot of uh, a fanfare, all the more so uh, things that are normally done privately, or that by their very nature are done privately, should be performed discreetly without a lot of public to do. Um, I don't think I, you know, probably need to go into too much detail here, but I think there's a tendency among myself, among everybody, uh, everybody I know, to want to make things public, to want to post somewhere on the web, I'm not going to use specific websites, but you all know what I'm talking about. The second we do something, the second we achieve something, uh, we want to just post it up immediately and make it public so that we can share with everybody. And of course, I do this as much as anybody else does, and there's a lot of beneficial um, aspects to sharing, to being proud of our achievements, the achievements of our family. But I also think there's a message here um, from Rav Anan and from Rabbi Elazar that sometimes some things can be better appreciated when they're kept a little more private. Perhaps it's study, perhaps it's acts of loving kindness, charity, things that we do for another person. There are some aspects of our life that I think especially we um, who live in the modern age today, with all of the technology around us, just have to be a little bit extra careful about sharing. I know that I like to occasionally take a holiday, say to myself, I'm not going to go on social media for a day, a few days, just to keep it all inside me for a little bit longer. Um, I think that that's a message that perhaps, you know, comes forth to me from this passage in the Talmud, something I try to eternalize. And those are my, let's say, preachy words for the day about what the Talmud has to say about oversharing on social media.